Two beautiful drives from these two players. Got to go over the bunker on the left. Probably wants to keep it a little right of the flag. Stay there. Okay, Charles, two pass to start for Besaden Hope. Like the last to putt for his birdie is Christian Besaden Hope. And he's got maybe the toughest putt of all because he's on the back bank of this and he's got to run it down a slope to get to where the, the hole's cut. So this is just ridiculously fast. It's like putting down a marble staircase with a snooker ball. And they tell you to stop it on the third stair. Yes. And he stopped it on the third stair. It's a birdie for Christian Bezaden, who gets him within two of the lead held by both his playing partners. A much fancied player by Tony Johnson, has to be said, at the, uh, at the start of the week. Good call there, Tony. Yeah, he is class played well last week at the Joburg Open after only arriving on Thursday morning. If you try and bully this golf course when it's set up like this and the greens this fast, it could lead to some nasty occurrences. Box clever. Well, Tony, you talk about uh, a solid start. It was a solid start for Christian Besaden out. But the wind here now is into the players from the left. You can see the flag is really flapping around in the wind. Pins right at the back right of the green. So very close to that right-hand bunker. So he wants to keep this ball a little left of the flag. That'll also give him an uphill putt. 164. I should be a 9-iron for him, but maybe a little 8-iron with the wind. That's the ball of Christian Bezadenhout and Whichever club it was, it worked. Managed to find that little back plateau. Christian Besaden note now. Now, I hope he didn't get put off by that Jaden Shaper. I had a look at this. I thought it was just on the right edge of the hole. Slightly uphill, so this is a very makeable birdie putt for Christian. And cool there from Dale Hayes. In it goes nicely for Besaden Hope. Two birdies in three holes, up to within one of the lead now. Now, Christian Besaden Hope with the driver into the wind. I think he's going to have to get every little bit of this to reach the green. If he leaves it anywhere, he wants to leave it short and left. And that's going to leave himself a very, very simple chip. And he hasn't done that. He's going to come over the bunker with his pitch shot. It's going to be difficult. In the bunker now, and a lot of bunker to cover, and landing on a down slope. You notice what a great job there John did at describing that, because he's always in the bush. So he was very good at describing that shot. Now, the same note from the front bunker, he's got loads of room. I think you might see this go quite close. You're right, he's got that to join the lead, depending on what Schaefer does, obviously. We're normally a little harsh on guys leaving paths short, but not, not on greens that are running at 14-3. Oh, Tony, this is a big putt for Chris John. You know, he's, he's played such a beautiful bunker shot, but he's left himself just a horror putt. I mean, it's just so fast down this hill. And, you know, you'd think the softer you can hit a ball, the easier it'd be to sink it. But it's actually not that way when you've got such a fast putt. It's just hard to get it online. But he has done brilliantly. He has three birdies in the last four holes. Takes him to the top of the leaderboard. So if you want to miss that bunker, keep it right. And this is Christian Besaid notes attempt here at one of the toughest holes on the golf course. Six. Such a bad, bad mistake. After yeah. all the great work he's put in yeah. on the first six holes. But now he's hitting his third at the par 3 7.
just get out of here with a bogey somehow. Just ensuring he didn't get it in the drink again, because that could have been end of everything. David Lipsky and Pablo Larrazabal walked away with the title since the redesign. This for bogey for Bezaden Hope. It's going to be a double, but you know what? On this golf course, you have to be prepared for the fact before you go out. Dow's right. Three shots gone in the last two. Right, Christian he drives the ball very straight, this man. He needs a straight one right here. He looks happy with it. Yeah, he's just smooth, that one down there. There's no point trying to jump on it and hitting it sideways. Four and a half feet, and in it goes, Poseidon Hope. Purdy's the 11th moves to within one of Moronk. He really is a very accurate driver of the golf ball. I hope I'm not putting the commentator's jinx on him, but uh, I think I'm surprised if this doesn't go on the fairway. Ball of Christian Bezaden finds the fairway. Second shot of to Saden Hope. Get this one in close, he can take advantage here. What a break. The Zayden Hope for his birdie. This is still swift. Now is the time, and he's got it. 13 under par. There's always something that happens as a moment. And you've got to feel that really the Christian Besaden hope knocking that one in there at the 14th. What a perfect time. The flag is blowing as if it's left or right. But every now and then it turns a little bit and shows that it's kind of into him. So he probably has to pitch it about 12 feet on the green. Sit, 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 sit. It listened eventually. And I think part of his plan is to birdie this hole. Now he's hit it a bit further past than he would like to. But he's a very, very good putter. He made a great putt for a birdie at the last. Can he repeat? Not far off. What a beauty. Brilliant putt. Two, 14 and 15. Absolute beauties. You almost feel he's got his name written on the trophy. Well done. Uh, Hold out very well today. Yeah, you know, it, they're not dribbled in, are they? They're nice and firmly in the back of the hole. What is he, 26 years of age? I suppose that's youth for you, Tony. <laughs> yes. Yeah, we'll again. go, OK? John, surely he's just hitting it just right edge of the of the TV tower with the 18 on it, isn't he? Oh, he is, all day long. I mean, you just aim it where uh, Jalen Shaper's at his ball, just right at that, between that and the flag, and take your money. Oh, well done. You just want to tell it that took the back edge of that green out. That's all you want to do. You can hit it as hard as you like, and it won't reach the back of that green. Anything other than short left would have been a big mistake. Yeah, oh yeah. Brilliantly played, you know. He's yeah. played this 18th so well. Clever, clever golf. <laughs> this part for a birdie for Christian Bezadenhout for the win. Beautiful. Beautiful. Mark it, step aside. 
let the other guys clean up and enjoy the moment. This for par for Christian Besaidenhout. He's now a winner on home soil. He is your 2020 Alfred Dunhill champion. What a patient performance it was from the 26-year-old, now a two-time European Tour winner. Round of 69 to date, and an incredible back nine. When others faltered, he was impressive. Let's get down to him now. He's ready to chat with Dale. Christian, try and, try and give us an idea of some of the emotions that, that you're going through right now. No, it's incredible. I mean, this, this tournament just has been close to my heart since I've played this for the first time. Um, yeah, and it's always been a tournament that I wanted to win and yeah, just pulled it off. Today is special, really, really special for me. It was a very difficult day, very up and down day. You were, you were there, then you dropped a couple, they dropped a couple, and it was... Yeah, it was, I mean, it's a two, two and a half club went today. It swelled a lot today. I mean, much double bogey on seven. Actually, he just hit a decent shot. He just, he just drifted right where the wind and it came up short. Um, but yeah, I'm proud of myself to, to have stuck in there and, and to... to to have pulled it off it now and then. And of course, it's your first win on home soil. And, you know, you, you seem to be very structured. You seem to have a plan that you stuck to it. Yeah, actually, uh, funny enough, I played with Louis and Scholl in the, in the practice round at, at uh, Augusta. And Louis actually said that you can't play the scores the way that you played it with the previous grass on it. And I... I actually never thought of it that way, and I just, I just came in here with a different frame of mind, and and I just played it like it like it's it's uh, playing now. It's it's firm and fast, and um, yeah, I'm, I'm just I'm just really really pleased to have pulled it off today. Well, congratulations! Your two wins have come on two of the very best golf courses in the world, Valderrama and Leopard Creek, and congratulations. I know that there are tons of people that would like to share this with you, you, including your brother. So if you'd kindly walk over oh, great, to okay. the Zoom. We've got, we've got your brother on, and uh, I know that he's going to congratulate you. Yeah, Wonderful I'm, performance. I'm seeing you next week, I think. Ready? It's coming. What's up? Is he like a fox? It's starting to get water with the city, it's very good. Yeah, thanks. How are you? It's tough. Yeah, it's not really good, but it's good. It's good. We're doing a victory lap, bro. Yeah. Thanks. We're going to get water in Nederland, so we're going to get water with the city. Yeah, see you later. Thanks. Cheers, yeah. Bye. Cheers. His brother, Conrad Bezadenhurt, and his sister-in-law there, Inga. What a lovely addition it's been this year in 2020. It's been a tough year for all, but it's been a fantastic week for that man on screen. Christian Bezadenhurt, who bumped himself back inside the top 50 in the world again. And he should be South Africa's second highest ranked golfer after this win. To watch another European Tour video, click here, and to subscribe, click here.